shook it up. Good afternoon, lovely people. As promised, I am back with a house tour. If you haven't seen my previous video, it is a life update telling you about how I have moved house. So I am here in my little cottage of love. As you can see, it's very old and it is very old. It's a very old house. Um, it's great to list it. It's a little cottage um, just outside Shrewsbury in the UK. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna bring you around and show you what I've done with it. Um, it was not as nice as it is now when I moved in. So I have done um, a lot of um, decorating and making it look prettier. So without further ado, here is my home. I hope you like it. As we come through the front door, we are greeted by a little Roxy rooster. Do you like being on camera, Rox? Yeah. And where's Bailey? Bailey is just lounging on her bed slash the sofa. So this is the lounge. As you can see, there's all like original beams. I've brought my artwork with me from the previous house. You can see all the lovely beams. It's like super old and we've got like some old um, light fittings there. So I'll just turn that on so you can see I've put all Edison bulbs in, which is not great for taking photos at night. But you can see, I've got a little mirror here. I've got like my little skulls. I do love skulls and that kind of romantic gothic feel. So that's kind of the theme I've gone for in the house. We've got a big open fireplace, which I love. This is my little, um, autumnal installation for Halloween and Thanksgiving kind of time um, and I just think it looks really pretty there beside the fire. I'll have to make a kind of Christmassy one coming into December but we'll leave that there for the month of November. Um, up here I got this commission so I found this skull and it's a stag skull. I found it on eBay and then I commissioned a company called Doom and Bloom who are based here in Shrewsbury um, they do all like beautiful dried flowers and fresh flower arrangements, but they do beautiful dried flowered arrangements, which I love because obviously then you don't have to be buying new ones all the time. So I'm going to get more of them for the house. Um, but I commissioned her to just um, create this piece and it actually looks really similar to the tattoo that's on my arm. I've got loads of flowers at the moment because I have amazing friends who have been inundating me with gifts of flowers, which is just lovely that I have like such lovely friends here in Shrewsbury. I got a few new pieces for in the lounge and um, we got this TV unit which I really love and um, I picked it up on eBay and as you can see it's all like different kinds of wood and then we've got some um, calf skin there just to give it kind of a different texture. I've got some faux plants because I kill plants, I'm sorry, I'm like a plant killer. Um, I've got loads of little storage boxes and they're just filled with like um, things for the dogs, etc. We've got my old coffee table that actually has come with me from Ireland and it's just stayed with me. Um, it was in one of the other rooms in my old house. I got this rug, which I love. Again, another eBay purchase and just brings it all together. And you can see all the fluffy pillows, very kind of neutral color vibe going on. I like it to be really calm and peaceful. I've got my apple crates, which are great for storage. So I've got all my aesthetic stuff in there. And also I use it over here. You can see I've got another piece, just more storage um, really for uh, paper and all my files for my new clinic. I have one of these Himalayan salt lamps. So the Himalayan salt lamps are great uh, for cleansing the atmosphere and um, getting rid of any negative energy. So I have that. I also burn sage at least once a week throughout the house to remove any negative energy that might be floating around the house. I have loads of candles and vaporizers throughout the house because this pair here um, tend to have quite stinky butts. So we um, light the candles to get rid of the smell. Then this is my little workstation. Got an ASOS return to go back and got my printer. I've got like a little collage here of like friends that I've just put some fairy lights. So I'm just adding to it. So when my friends come over, I get the Polaroid out and make them pose and we take like silly photos. So got my friend Danny here. I get to pose with the dogs. We got Bailey, 
my girlfriends. So I do have some lovely friends. My friend Danny got me these pieces um, for my house for when I moved in. So this says love, happiness, friendship and positivity, Lainey's home. And then smile until it reaches your soul, which is something I like to say because I feel like if you smile, bringing positive vibes out into the world. So keep smiling, even when you don't really feel like it, because it will eventually become a permanent fixture on your face. Here we have, to kind of bring in the same colour theme, I have my map of Ireland, because obviously I'm Irish, and I like to be reminded, so that's above my workstation there. I've got this old school collector's item Barbie that I've had for years. Um, we've got some more of the Doom and Bloom dried flowers, just to make it look pretty here. Just like little bits and bobs. I've got my um, Provocane CBD gummies. I keep them beside my desk because um, I think the only time I really get stressed right now is when I'm like paying bills and doing like proper work on my laptop and like getting things organised for uh, the clinic. So um, it's the kind of time that it reminds me to just say, take my CBD because it obviously helps to calm you and helps with anxiety and stress. So. Provocaine, they do loads of different products. I've talked to you about it before um, in previous videos, but they do balms, they do like um, thick balms that you can like rub on like spots, which I could do it doing now because I've got it there. Um, they have the CBD drops. Um, I am not keen on the taste of the CBD drops. That's why I tend to get the gummies and things like that, just because, yeah, it kind of just, ugh. But if you're someone who can just like take the drops, Drink some water, get it down the hatch, do it. But as I said, not my preference, but they have loads of products. So go check out Provocane. I'll link them down below and um, I may even have a discount code. So just check the description box below. Um, they really are good. They're um, UK based, but they ship worldwide. So yeah, go check them out. These are really nice and yummy. And um, I am going to get more of their creams and such to be rubbing all over me good for dry skin and things like that so as we leave the lounge we get into a hallway here and i have a cute little coat rack you can hear the washing machine going um that i just picked up on i think it was amazon or ebay but it just kind of looks like retro and i usually just leave my handbag and whatever coat i'm wearing in there and then we've got a cute little downstairs wc which was pretty grim but I just painted it, I added my little knickknacks, like my get naked sign, I've got like a little display here, it's like when people call over for drinks or food, I wanted it to look slightly more inviting and it did look kind of grim. I still would like to get a new toilet because I feel like this is a bit... Um, but I just accessorized it up, some yellows and brightened it up, put in this like cute little hexagon mirror, or is it a hexagon? I don't know, uh, but cute little mirror and again would like to change the sink but it is a rented property so I'm not going to be investing too much money into it. Got these cute little baskets just for a loo roll and like extra towel. Then this room, it's probably a tie between this room, the lounge and my bedroom, which room I like the most but I do a lot of entertaining in here so this is actually the doggy's bedroom as well. So as you can see, we have their bed and their toys and their water over here. Um, there's like nice little curtains. I like to keep fresh flowers. We've got double doors out onto the garden. I'll show you the garden in a bit. And I've got this lovely big table. Again, this came with me from Ireland. And I have my skull with um, some wax in there to burn. I picked that up in Asda and it's just like really cute. And then I've got my lazy Susan there, I've got some candles and all I did was get some old Kraken bottles and literally burn some candles and they've all melted down and made it look really cool. Then I've got my cocktail bar, which I love. So I got this a couple of years ago. Um, I love it. This is the remnants of my um, Halloween costume, so I was Wednesday Adams. Um, and then I've got some of the copper cups for cocktails. We've got my Nespresso machine here for the espresso martinis. I've got a blender here to be making margaritas. Got my shaker, uh, a cute little lamp, some artwork that I bought a couple of years ago. And again, another vaporizer because stinky doggies um, like to fart it up a storm at night. So got all the booze in here. I have 
quite a nice little selection going on. We've got more coffee and little bits and bobs in there. I've got my martini glasses, some wine, some wine glasses, Prosecco glasses. And then over here, I've got a fridge, freezer, and I literally, I haven't even plugged it in yet, so um, it's just brand new. But that fridge is actually going to be for uh, keeping my stock for the business in because I don't want to keep it in the fridge where I keep my food and um, also be able to use the freezer for ice for my drinks so you know thinking ahead over here we have our hallway again just like a little cute little seat because I bring the dogs for a walk and I keep their leads here so I can sit here put on my trainers and my wellies got little signs and I just have like little cute little things everywhere in the house got more storage in here I just keep the dogs food in there because it's kind of stinky and then we go through to the kitchen so I always have the radio on for noise in the house I like it to be musical so I'll just turn it off so I can show you and um, we've got our fridge freezer um, microwave my mixer blender over here I have my little coffee station with my proper coffee machine my grinder I'm using at the moment this coffee um, from a local company uh, called 19 Artisan Coffee uh, you can follow them on Instagram and this decaf is actually the best decaf I've ever had usually decaf tastes like poop but this is really really yummy and um, I really like their 80-20 mix as well it's really good um, I've got my supplements so I've got my Edible Health Collagen, which I just add to my coffee every morning. This is actually empty. It's there to remind me to order some more. Um, as I said, my radio. I can also plug my phone in here. Uh, I've got these little coffee cup sets that were actually my Nana's, so I like to have them on display. Again, just a very basic kitchen, nothing too fancy. We've got the washing machine is going right now. I've got some laundry on, I've got a dishwasher, I've got a nice view out the window to the garden. We've got um my basil plant which is surviving, I haven't killed it yet. Um, all my favourite cookbooks, so obviously we have The Body Coach, a bit of jo Joe Wicks, we've got Gizzy, we've got Jamie Oliver, a bit of The Food Medic because I love her, she's Irish and she's a doctor. Um, trying to keep the health going with some fruit and eggs. I am adapting to a new environment, it's obviously a smaller kitchen than what I'm used to and it's not quite as social as I like. That is probably one aspect that I don't like about this house because I do love the house but um, in my old house it was a very social kitchen, it, it had kind of a living area off it. I'm just walking up the stairs, ooh! Um, yeah, so you can see it's obviously all the original wood again. So this kind of side of the house is all an extension and this side is kind of the old half of the house. But yeah, I just feel like uh, that's one thing that I do miss is a social kitchen. I think if I bought this house, I'd probably knock through the wall from the kitchen into the dining room and have like a big open social dining kitchen area and just have it, or maybe just knock through all the walls downstairs and just have a big open plan downstairs and just make it really social. So in here, doo -doo -doo. If you follow me on Instagram, you may recognize here from all my photos. So I've got my dressing room and um, the place isn't perfect. It's not like super tidy. I just like to keep things neat or whatever, but I've got this really cute um, seat and it has storage in there. So I keep like any extra makeup. I even have, the dogs are allowed upstairs. You'll notice in this house, we don't have rules. Um, they just have to behave themselves and they get to come upstairs and sit with me while I'm doing my makeup. And again, just have a nice view out to the garden. So you can see that's my garden there. And I have a hammock, I've got like a little seating area there. We've got lights that go up the trees which light up at night. And over there, there's a gravestone. So we think there might be some dead bodies in the garden but it doesn't freak me out I don't know how you feel about it um, I've got loads of storage so this is kind of like a walk-in closet dressing room I've got a TV there which I watch in the mirror it sees me about having a TV behind me but I'm like but I can watch it in the mirror as I'm getting ready they're like oh it's just a glorified radio and I'm like it's not 
watch it in the mirror. It's just back to front. So I'm taking you into my guest room. Um, I wanted to have a guest room. I didn't necessarily need a guest room, but um, hopefully once the restrictions lift, I'll be able to have my mum to come and stay, my sister, my niece and nephews. And I wanted to have a nice guest room just so I could have people to stay. Like I've had numerous friends come and stay um, when we had less restrictions and I just have it nice and just really clean, white, calm. So they come, it just feels nice, inviting environment. Uh, I wouldn't have my own bedroom that white, um, but for a guest room, it just feels more like a hotel. And that's what I wanted, that vibe. So walking down the hall, I've got some nice pictures from when I traveled, so we've got um, Iguazu, we've got Cambodia, and we've got Thailand all lined up. I'm going into the bathroom. So again, this is my bathroom. Tall people struggle with the shower. It has very low ceilings. So anyone who's above about five foot five struggles in my bathroom. But it's not the most amazing bathroom, but I have made the best of what I've had with it. I make it, everything really pretty. I've just added loads of baskets. Um, I added like a little vanity unit there. I've got my shells and all I did was spray paint them all in matte black and just bring them all together, match it all up. I've got a little basket there of treats. I've got all my products, my spare products and obviously in there we've got our shower. The bath is really deep and actually really enjoyable. I really like sitting in the bath. I'm not really a bath person, but since I moved here at least once a week, I jump in the bath and I put on some Netflix and just chill out. So going now into where the magic happens. Well, not quite, but um, this is my bedroom, which I love. I wanted it to be a kind of a sanctuary for me, somewhere that I feel warm, safe, inviting, all those kind of things that especially as a woman living on her own, you want to feel like cozy and yeah, just like a really nice little environment. You know, like when you go to an Airbnb and you just think, oh, I'd love to live here. Well, I wanted to make my bedroom like that Airbnb that you want to live in. So I think I've gotten it. And as you can see, it has all the original beams. Um, I have whacked my head numerous times on the windows. So we've got like slanted roof in here. Again, friends above a certain height, they do bang their heads when they come in. This is my bed. Um, these were like a, a set that I brought with me from Ireland and I just changed the little handles so kind of just upcycled them um, it is a whole big set so we've got like all my gym clothing are in here and yes I have problems or issues that I have to fold all of my leggings and my bras in a certain way they're actually a bit messy right now um, I love having loads of nice smells like I said in the house um, We've got a little Bailey here. Hi Bailey. Are you showing the people the, the new house? Do you like the new house? Yeah. I've got some fresh bedding out because I actually do need to change my bedding. Um, that's covered in dog hair right now. But I just kind of thought these were like cute little cushions. We've got like a little happy, we've got a heart. And um, yeah, I've got this ottoman, which is nice just to have like storage in there, a few bits and bobs. Uh, I've got my unicorn, nice big mirror. I didn't really know what to do with it, so I just brought up a little shelving unit that I had from downstairs. Then in here I have a walk-in closet. So I do have loads of storage, but hello. Um, I had a spare chair that I've just put in here for now. But yeah, this is all my kind of casual clothes and um, my trainer selection. It's not at all excessive, is it? No. So there is one more room in my house. Um, it does creep out a lot of people. It's a little bit spooky. It's just beside my bedroom and it is an open, an open loft storage, which I use for just um, housing my coats and suitcases, things like that. I would love to make it into like a proper little space, uh, make it nice and maybe put a sofa up there. Um, but that will be uh, another project. But right now, I'll just show you what it looks like. So it is a narrow stairs that the dogs can't actually get up. So it is super creepy, I know. But I just have my coats. I have a lot of coats. So I just bought like little um, 
wardrobe racks and then I've got like my overnight bags and scarves and stuff as you can see Bailey's like mom get down from there it's spooky I'm just gonna quickly show you the outside at the back of my house because I have tried to make it look really cute and um, right now we're in autumn it's a little bit too cold to sit outside but when I first moved in it was the end of the summer and it was still really warm so I did get the opportunity to sit out got a little sun trap area here which is just really nice for like an afternoon coffee even now when it's it is crisp and cold but you can see the sun hits it I've got like loads of little solar lights so that when my friends come over and any of them like you can see there's like cigarette butts because my friends are smokers I'm not don't worry and I've got like little lanterns that all light up at night to make it look really pretty dogs love it because there's so much space for them to run and play um, and then I've got all like little solar lamps I've got more of the little lanterns out here as I showed you earlier there's my little seating area I've got my hammock all the lights up the trees just light up at night and then here we have a grave so yeah there's a gravestone in my garden I truly do believe that if there are spirits lurking around my house um, they seem to be quite welcoming. They don't seem to be opposed to me living here because anyone who comes into my house gets a really positive energy. I don't know whether it's just my energy or the energy of whoever's lived here before, um, but I love my little house. And um, it's just nice when I'm living on my own with the dogs that we have this really cute, inviting environment. Um, that people really enjoy coming and hanging out and watching movies and just generally having a few cocktails and having the chats and yeah I think obviously I'm Irish we love to host people we love having people around um, and uh, right now obviously I haven't been able to have family over because of travel restrictions but soon hopefully I'll be able to have people around, uh, have my family around and um, show them what it's like. I really hope you enjoyed my house tour. I know it was brief. If you have any questions about any of the products I've gotten, a lot of the paintings that I have are from Etsy. Go check it out. It's all individually handmade um, pieces. You can get jewellery and artwork there. Um, a lot of the stuff I get is from online, so go check out eBay, Amazon, and um, that's where you get most of your stuff. But it was lovely to have you here. If you're in the area, you know, pop in for a brew. There's always a tea or a coffee or a cocktail on the go at Shea Laney. And um, I hope to see you soon with my next video. I think I'll do a day in the life, catch you up, because we're going into lockdown again. And um, I might as well show you what goes on in a typical day in the life. So tune into the next video. It was lovely to see you guys, even just virtually, and uh, enjoy your day. Bye. Yeah, I'm Superman. I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me. I said, girl, you can sit on me, cause bitch, they be hating.